there's before walker and after walker and the difference is night and day and, and it's just done more than the money represents. Without Walker, I, d I do not believe we would be where we're at today. It's opened up the whole world to us. The Walker Fund has been great. If it wasn't for this program, I would be in jail or I would be dead. Well, the Walkers uh, were some folks that, that he grew up in Kansas City. Uh, they lived in Southern California for a number of years and then they uh, moved up to Ashland. And in the 40s, he uh, acquired some stock in Anheuser-Busch and he never sold any. Reed had about one million shares in, in Anheuser-Busch as of the date of his death. And it was worth $52 a share. So you do the math. Reed and Carolee had a vision that, that they really wanted to give back to the community and they made an incredible gift to our community foundation. Their vision was that they really wanted to help the primarily impoverished children uh, and primarily those in Jackson County, but not just children, folks living in poverty, folks in need. Happy Smiles is a school-based and community dental outreach program. We're funded by the Walker Funds. We have portable dental equipment. Uh, we're rarely at La Clinica. We're usually on the road and out in the community, and our mileage expense sheets show it. The need is huge. First of all, we know that 62% of the kids in our elementary schools have no dental insurance. A large percentage of those children have never been to a dentist or certainly have not been in the last 12 months. This is all the case. 10 teeth that for um, a seven-year-old. This is a very common, normal sight for us to see. The work that the Happy Smiles team does would not be possible without the Walker Fund. They are making a major difference in this community. One of the things that I think should be considered when they're looking at spending a dollar is how many years that dollar is going to have an effect. If I can change the oral health habits of one child, for a lifetime and they have children and they change the oral health habits of their children and they change the oral health habits of their children the dollars spent today could be making a difference a hundred years from now Carol Lee had a passion for children I have passion for children I think there's many many people out there who have a passion for children but don't realize the need that children have to live pain-free, to be able to pick up a piece of pizza and be able to chew it without pain. Something as simple as a toothbrush and toothpaste are not available to every child in this community without the Walker Funds. I go into classrooms and I have kids tell me that um, there's six kids in our family and we only have one toothbrush or we have no toothbrushes, or we have no toothpaste. I think that everyone walks away from an outreach event feeling uplifted. Um, you feel that you've done something good, and that gives you a good feeling. Well, the home program is the, is the crown jewel of OnTrack because it focuses on young families before their hurt by separation or the trauma of all that goes with foster care placement and that sort of thing. The home program was referred to me by my caseworker and I had an open mind at the time because I know I needed help and so I came and it was the best thing for me. I had a child and was very heavily into meth and I needed to change my life needed to change for myself and for my child. Knowing that we've wor worked off a waiting list since day one and it's always seemed insane for us to put pregnant women and young children on wait lists, the Walker Fund has purchased, helped us offer four more families at any given time services at the home program. They told me that I was gonna come to On Track, to the home program, and I could bring one of my kids with me. I have two little boys, my son Valente, and um, if I, it was time for me to do residential because I, uh, I just couldn't stop. I couldn't stop using. I couldn't stop the lifestyle. It's just overwhelming. 
and was about ready to lose my kids. This is the best program that I have seen, that I've experienced, that I think any woman could ever experience, especially a mother. Um, you will never find any kind of treatment anywhere, like you can't hear. You could not pay for better treatment. It is truly the greatest thing ever. Without this program, there will be so many mothers that lose their children that don't ever get the chance to be clean and sober. Because without this program, it's just, there's not a lot of programs like this one. You know, the home program is something that I've never, I'd never even heard about. And it just changes so many lives. It's amazing. What goes on here at the Upper Road Community Center is a whole variety of different things. As, as our name says, we are a community center and we try to f serve the whole population. Well, the after school program is a program we offer five days a week starting in September when the school year starts. They come in, they actually have a, an hour to do homework, which is great for working parents because as you know, if you're a working parent, you come home and you don't have time to do homework. Okay, now you're gonna circle the greatest sum. So this is a great, great opportunity. They get to come here, get all of their homework done. Then they get to have a little fun. Yeah, now the field trips, we've been getting funded for that from the, uh, from the uh, Walker Fund for th three years, coming up on our fourth year, hopefully. The Walker Fund has been great. They donate money to the after-school program, so we are able to do field trips, usually once a month, every other month. We get to do things that the kids would never be able to do if they were just at home after school. Well, we're at the fish hatchery in Shady Cove, and the kids are enjoying feeding the fish right now. They got to see them really small and getting bigger, and we're about to go see them really big. That fish got it. Any field trip that we go on is part of the Walker Fund. This is definitely one of the ones, that, because it's close to where we live, it's great. Last year, uh, social services received $50,000 grant from the Walker Fund, and we, we served 1,000 families and individuals. The Happy Smiles team serves over 6,000 kids a year. It can vary depending on the amount of money that's available, but on a typical year, it's been about 5,000 of those trips in a year. I've spoken to teachers, and the grades, their spelling tests, have just tremendously improved. They, because of the homework help each day. The decay rate has dropped by 12% in the schools we serve. So we know we're making an impact, we're making a difference. One day I walked into a, uh, to the lobby at the home program where there was a little girl that looked just like the cover of Les Miserables. She has sort of wispy blonde hair, just a coat with long sleeves, shoes on the wrong feet, kind of a snotty little nose. And uh, it was in August and she was in this coat. And she comes running up to me and she's pulling on me and she said, can we stay here another day? And I said, of course you can. She goes, wob, wob. And she runs over to her brother and says, we can stay here another day. 